Hey, what's going on guys? As promised, in today's video, I'll be going over the SEO hub features on ScaleNut. In my first tutorial, I went over the cruise mode, which allows you to create a blog post in five minutes. So in today's video, I'll be going over some of the other features that are included in ScaleNut. So under the SEO hub, you have the SEO docs and the topic clusters. So SEO docs allows you to enter a keyword in which you would like to rank for, and you can create an SEO doc and you'll be able to get recommendations in which you need to follow in order to uh, increase the likeness of ranking for that specific keyword. So for example, if I'm writing a blog post about the best watches under $1,000, then I can enter that keyword, select the country in which I'm located and click create SEO doc. And this will pull all of the most relevant information on Google for this specific keyword. And it'll also include all of the ranking factors that I need to include within my article to rank for this keyword. So once it's completed, you can click on that keyword and you'd be able to see the competition overview. So we can see the overview of the top 30 ranking URLs for that keyword. So we can see the top page stats. So for the pages that are ranked one to 10, we can see the word count. We can see the grade. This would be the content grade um, as determined by ScaleNut. We can see how many H tags they've used within their article. We can also see the readability score and we can see how many images were included within those articles. So we can see that for the one to 10, we can also see that for the one to 20, and we can also see the one to 30 at blog posts for this keyword. And if you wanted to take a look at those specific web pages that are ranking, you can take a look at your metric trend and you can filter this by the content grade or the readability score, word count, images, and H tags. So this will give you some data in which you can take a look at to see if there's any trends or if there's any commonality that uh, makes certain websites rank for this specific keyword. So for example, maybe you head over to word count and you notice that the top ranked blogs have the highest amount of words. So you would know that if you want to rank for this specific keywords and you need to include a lot of uh, content within your articles. Now, of course, this isn't the um, case for this example, but the point is that you'll be able to get some information here that will guide you in your content creation process. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll be able to see a snapshot of the SERP. So we can see um, the websites, we can see the ranks, we can see the word count, the grade, H tags, and the images. And you can also see the URL of your competitor. So you can click on that and take a look to see um, what they've written about for that specific article. And if you wanted to, you can also insert that competitor as a reference. So once you click insert as reference, that will go on onto the right hand side here and it'll make it easy for you to click on uh, or access those competitors. So that's your competition overview. Next will be your outlines. So these would be the outlines um, that the top rank blogs have included within their article. So again, you can go through these outlines and if you want, you can click onto that and you can start building your own custom outline by taking a look at the top ranked outlines. So this will make it very easy for you to construct your own outline because you have a nice visual of what um, other blog posts are writing about. And again, you can just add those into um, your own outline. So when it's time for you to create your article, you already have an outline ready to go. So again, just go through your competitors and you can add in any H1 or H2 tags that you like to on the right hand side here. And besides outline is your questions. So these are questions that people are asking in reference to that keyword that you selected. So for instance, we're writing about what are the best watch brands under $1,000. And these are related questions that people are asking on Google. So what is the number one brand of watch? what watch brand is the best in India, what watch brand has the best quality and so on. So again, you can insert these questions as a FAQ. So again, we're building up our outline and ScaleNut makes it very easy for us to get that information and for us to also include that information within our article. And you can also see some questions that were asked on Quora and some questions that were asked on Reddit. So you get a variety of different sources in which you can choose from for your questions. And besides questions are your citations. So these are going to be the websites that are referenced by your competitors. So these are the top cited URLs. So you'd be able to see which blog posts are referencing specific websites. So for example, amazon.com is the most referenced website for this specific keyword. And that's because um, this is a topic about watches and they are probably referencing Amazon because they have a link to Amazon for those specific products. So we can see here that uh, Amazon was referenced by Gear Patrol many times and it was referenced by also a couple of other uh, websites. And that's again, mostly because they're probably uh, linking out to that product that they included within their article. 
But this is still useful because you can find sources that your competitors are uh, referencing, which allows you to get more information for your article, or you can find references to products and services in which your competitors are including within their articles, and you can also include that in your articles as well. And next to citations are your key terms. So these are going to be the key terms in which you need to include within your article if you would like to rank for that keyword and for a related keyword. So you'd be able to see the terms, the frequency, which is how many times you need to include that keyword within your article, the level of importance, and if that keyword was used in a heading. So for example, we see that these keywords are of high importance. So we'd want to um, definitely include these keywords within our article. And if we click on that specific keyword, we'd be able to see examples of how that keyword was used in articles by our competitors. So that would be your content brief where you would do some research on your competitors. You'd be able to find keywords that you need to include within your article and you'll start constructing your outlines based upon uh, H2 tags that your competitors have also included. And once you've finished completing your content brief, you want to click the create content section here. Now, this is where you'll actually start writing your content. So it's already going to include all of the information which we um, gathered within our content brief. So that's going to be um, included within your uh, document here. So once you start writing your content, you'll be able to use that information which you found for reference. And you'll also be able to optimize your content simultaneously while you're creating your content. And that's why I really, really like ScaleNut. It combines an AI writer and a content editor tool. So you wouldn't need to get writers in or serve for SEO, all you need to get is one tool, which would be ScaleNut, and you can write and optimize your articles all in one place. So again, this is the content brief on the right hand side here. And next to that is our key terms in which we need to include again within our articles. Besides that is our competition. So these are going to be the top rank blogs and articles. And besides that will be the questions in which you would like to include within your articles. Below your SEO docs will be your topic clusters. Now this is where you'll be able to find content ideas for keywords in which you would like to rank for. So built into ScaleNut is the topic cluster feature which allows you to do research and find blog post topic ideas. So again, this is a really, really useful feature and I like that it's again all included in one place. It really allows you to not have to go out and buy or invest in another content optimization tool or a topic research tool. So the first thing that you'd want to do is enter the primary keyword to find related topics. So for example, if you wanted to find blog post ideas about affiliate marketing, we would enter that within our search bar and click create topic cluster. And once that's finished loading, open your cluster report and you'd be able to see that keyword and some variations of that keyword in which you can possibly write a blog post about. So we see affiliate marketing and we see some variations of that keyword in which we can write a blog post about. So we also see here that we have some variations of that target keyword. So not just only affiliate marketing, we see online affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing programs. And then below that, we see clusters of related keywords in which we can use to write a complete article about. So another example of this would be if we searched up keto diet, again, we'd be able to see that target keyword and some variations of those keywords in which we include within one article. So if you're writing a blog post about vegetarian keto diet, you can also include keto carbs, vegan keto diet, max carbs and keto, and keto low carb diet. So these are all variations of keywords that are related to that topic. So again, um, it just makes it very easy for you to find a topic in which you want to write about, but also find some variations of keywords to include within that article. And if you wanted to, you can actually create an SEO um, doc using that um, keyword in which you found. So you can create an SEO doc and then start formulating and creating your outline and then start creating your content using uh, this information that you found from the topic cluster. So very useful feature included here. Um, if you're a little bit stumped as to what topic you would like to write about, just enter that seed keyword or that target keyword and then find some variations of that keyword and some related um, keywords in which you can use to include within your article by using this tool. The more I use ScaleNote, the more impressed I am with the features, with the integrations and with how easy and beginner friendly this tool is to use. It's very, very easy to use, but it's also very powerful and it allows you to expedite the time that it takes you to write and optimize a blog post. I couldn't recommend it more. And if you're looking for a very powerful AI copywriter for a pretty affordable price, then definitely check out ScaleNut. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.